Hello, welcome. Let's provide answer to this question on the series of main section 2 and the uh, uh, total surface area of a pyramid. So this is another example which is different from what we did in the previous episode. The height of a pyramid is given as 12 cm. If it has a rectangular base of length 18 cm and breadth 10 cm, find the total surface area. So if this were to follow the previous edition that we did, we are going to say that total surface area equals to half of the perimeter times the slant height plus what? The base area, where the perimeter is the perimeter of the base. The base area is area of the base, and this is going to be the slant height. And in this case, it will be a slant height that is common to all the four faces. But in this case, you can see that we are having the length being different from the breadth. So we may not be able to get one single slant height in the multiplication. So it means we have to go back to the traditional way of dismantling the, the pyramid into each net. Then we add the areas of the various nets to produce the total surface area. So let's make a sketch of our pyramid. Okay, so let's just say this is our pyramid. Let's label it A, B, C, D, the vertex. We have been given the height. In this case, the height is not the slant height, but the altitude, the height of the pyramid, which is going to be from the apex down into the center. So if this is our height, which is labeled as what? 12 centimeters. Now, we need to also know the slant height. Don't forget, the dimensions given to us is that the length is 18 centimeters and the breadth is what? 10 centimeter. So since the, the height is at the center, any line I drawn from here towards the line BC will be half of the 16. Then any line that I will draw from the center towards AD, this line, towards the line DC is also going to be half of the 10. So we can see that the slant height will be different. So let's just say we have uh, the slant height here. So let's say this is the slant height we want to introduce. This very slant height, as we are seeing here, is the same as if the slant height is here. Because this and this are opposite, sitting on the same 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter. So the line from V towards DC is going to be the same as towards what? AB. Because they are all sitting on the 18 centimeter. So what will I do? Let me just join this line so if I join this line I will be having here to be right angle seeing this is perpendicular to the base so if that is the right angle then let me just put here O this is going to be let's put here E the length the length OE VO EV will form a right angle triangle. So if I take that, this is when you have your E, your O, right angle, the V, this is your 12 centimeter. Look at EO. It is moving along the line DC, which is going to be half of the line DC, and that will be our 9 centimeter. So what you are looking for is the slant height which I say that is going to be different from this. So let's label that the first slant height. How do we find the value of that? We know this is a right angle triangle, so we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So for L1, will be L1 square equals to 9 square plus what? 12 square, Pythagoras theorem. So this is going to be your L1 equals to the square root of 81, plus 144 and that will give us the square root of this plus this will be uh, if we add 80 so we will have 200 and 
25. Two, two, this will be 5, this will be 2, so 2, 5. So the square root of 2, 2, 5, I believe that will be 15. So 15 centimeters. Meaning the slant height here from V to E is 15. V to any line here will also be 15. So now let's introduce another slant height which is coming towards the line DC. So let me just introduce that. So that can be joined with our height. So if I label here, let's say A, B, C, D, E, F. If I label this place E, F, uh, F, I have V, F, O, also form a triangle, right? So in this case, if I take, in this case, if I remove that, you know, you'll be having this diagram being removed. O, V, 12, we have F. Don't forget that F is also sitting in line with AD. Half of AD, that will have been our 5 centimeter. So this becomes your L2. So how do you find that? Using Pythagoras theorem. So your L2 square will be equals to 12 square plus what? 5 square. And your L2 will be the square root of 144 plus 25. And that is going to mean the square root of this plus this will be 6, 9, 169. And that will be 13 centimeters. So you can see they are having two different uh, slant heights. So the formula we had first, which uses only one slant height, will not be ideal. So what do we do? We need to find the area when the slant height is what, 13, and there are two of them. This place and the opposite. We need to find the area of the triangle when it has a slant height of 15, and there are also two. So we can go to find area of triangle with height 15 centimeter. So there are two of them. So it's going to mean two times half times the base. If I take away this, this very area where we are seeing the E, the E is sitting on this triangle that has the base AD. And that will be 10 centimeter times the height, which is the slant height that we are having for 15 centimeters. You know, this will cancel this. So we we'll left with 150 centimeter squared. That is the area of that triangle. Okay. So area of triangle with the height 13 centimeter. There are also two. So two times one out of two, the base. Where is this? This is the triangle you're referring to. V D C. The base is what? 18. So 18 times the height, which you're having a V F. And I believe that will be 13. This will cancel this. So you are left with this plus this, 210. Then this time this is what? 24, right? So we have 234 centimeter squared. 234 centimeter squared. That is only the area of the triangles. What about the area of the base? So we have area of the base, which is a rectangle, will be length, which will be 18 times the breadth, which will be 10, and that gives us 180 centimeters squared. So the question is asking for total surface area. So these are the surfaces we have. There are five faces, uh, four triangles and one rectangle. But the triangles are also two pairs. All right. So our total surface area is going to mean that 150 centimeters squared plus 234 centimeter squared plus 180 centimeter squared. We add all the three. 
in this we are adding all the five faces. So this will give us 330 uh, plus this will be uh, 564. So we have 564 centimeters squared as the total surface area of this very pyramid. So I believe the concept is clear, how to find the total surface area of a pyramid when the base is rectangular. You can see the previous episode, when the base is a square, it's easier to calculate. Don't forget, the reason why we are able to do this is because we dismantle it into each net, as we said in the beginning of our episode. You see that this is the same as this. And this is the same as this, and this will be the third one. So we have one, as we can find here, there are two of them. We have this, as we can find there, and the base. We add all of them to give us the total surface area. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and comment. Come back to this space as we continue the episode on total surface area of a pyramid. Share, like, and comment. Bye-bye.